New at six. We've been talking about it for years now, but today we can say the Southern Nevada War Water Authority is about to reach the water at the end of the tunnel. Construction of the third straw is almost finished. That will ensure we can keep our faucets running if Lake Mead continues to shrink. Tonight we are taking you inside that tunnel. News 3 Serge Avila takes us along hundreds of feet underground. The descent from the surface to underneath Lake Mead is a muggy one. The lower you get, the more humid it becomes, and contrary to what you might think, it gets warmer. And it's especially warm down here today. As we exit the lift, sweat is already forming. Our trip has just begun. Our guide, Bronson Mack, of the Southern Nevada Water Authority has been down here before. Construction started in 2008. Groundwater seeps through the walls and trickles down the tunnel we came from. Then it's onto a rail car. This is where the tunnel boring machine started. It's three mile drive out underneath Lake Mead. It's an eerie ride. At times, the lights go out. Things are pitch black until your eyes adjust. The rail car doesn't reach the end of the tunnel. It's time to walk. Work as we walk by, the air they breathe pumped in through a huge yellow tube. At this point, we're under Lake Mead. If you'd asked me on Thursday, it was three city blocks. I think we've added a couple city blocks now. After a short walk, we reach the end. 2,429 of these rings, that's what it took to reach nearly three miles from the shore of Lake Mead to the end of this tunnel. You look up and there it is, a 19,000 pound spherical plug. It's the only thing keeping hundreds of feet of water from rushing into the tunnel. And this intake is gonna help ensure that we can continue to access our community's water supply, even if lake levels continue to decline because of the drought. If water levels get too low, the first straw we use to get water from the lake will be unusable. Losing it would be devastating to our water supply. This straw takes its place if that were to happen. It took about seven years, $817 million, and in just a few short months, this tunnel will be providing water to the valley. Reporting from underneath Lake Mead, Sergio Avila, News 3.